C.J. Lafragola, former St. Joseph High School star who's now at Brown University. Good morning, C.J. Hey, how you doing? What's up, man? How's everything? Real good, real good. Um, just, I'm actually just getting in from spring break, so I'm right. starting <laughs> my break. So. <laughs> nice. Now, you are uh, you grew up in Little Egg Harbor, and, and I never realized this, uh, but you, you grew up with my nephew, uh, Phoenix Rouse. I don't know if, if my sister Claire and Phoenix are listening online out in Pittsburgh this morning, but uh, kind of a, a small world here. Yeah, it's real funny. You know, thinking about it, we have all pictures when I was little playing football. My dad coached with uh, Phoenix's dad. He was the, the coaching staff, and uh, football and baseball, actually. So it was a good time, real good time with Phoenix <laughs> when I was little. Awesome, man. So uh, we were just talking to Pat Darcy, and you guys were out there in, in St. Louis together at the NCAA's. What was your impression of that tournament? Oh, man, for me, it, it's it is first time I actually been out there in general. Yeah, you know, I've always watched it on TV, and I mean, once you walk out into the arena, even before it started, we walked down just to see the size of an arena we're going to compete in is amazing. But like you said, you were talking about the state tournament that helped me prepare a little bit, but. Just the, the energy that is in that arena when there's, you know, eight crazy matches going on at once is just it's un, uncomparable to anything I've seen. And uh, you know, just to get down there and check it out for my uh, first year of getting to the tournament is just awesome. Now, now I know what to expect. You know, going into the future. So, yeah, it was funny. I was uh, I was promoting the show on Facebook last night, and I was digging through some old photos, and I, and I came across a picture of. Uh, you in, in the regions, I guess it was uh, 2014, I want to say, against uh, Cooper Gallagher. That was that was a great match. Yeah. <laughs> I remember I, I had that funny headgear on with the uh, head. <laughs> <laughs> yep. What, what do you remember most about your high school career? I mean, you had an awesome career there with, with uh, football, wrestling, and baseball. One of, the, one of the best athletes to come out of South Jersey in quite a while. Yeah, I mean, with high school, I mean, so many things. Obviously, football was – Coach Sacco made such an impact, and, you know, that was a big part of my time there at St. Joe because the dedication to, uh, you know, Coach Sacco's program and stuff. And, I mean, wrestling was just, you know, for me still, like, the highlight was the states with wrestling just because it's such an individual effort. I mean, it's, it's a group effort, but just the accolades you get from it and, you know, so much hard work goes into it for, like, one, well, six-minute match in high school. And, um I, I attribute all that to my uh, coaches. You know, I had Billy Damiana helping me out, who had just got the head coaching job at Lower Cape May now, and I had Coach Henshaw from St. Joe. And, you know, we, we put so much time into the wrestling. And um, even Coach Pallone, you know, was still in the background when I was at St. Joe, coaching me a little bit. And um, just to, that, that's one thing with high school that I really, really, you know, remembered, you know, that, that run in the States and just the uh, such a unique event, you know. Talk with C.J. Lafragola, former St. Joe star, now a sophomore at Brown University. Uh, C.J., i got to ask you this, because I ask these high school kids all the time, and, and none of them have ever seen this movie. Have you ever watched Vision Quest? Of course. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, why, why aren't these kids watching this? It's the best high school wrestling movie ever. Maybe the only one. It is. It's definitely. Um, you know, I, I don't know. It's definitely, uh, it, it, it's got intensity, you know, it motivates you. I mean, there's so many little things. You know, my favorite scene is the the uh, before the match. He's talking with the his, his guy he works with, Elmo, and uh, you know, it's my favorite line. It's a, uh, it's not what it's not a, what is it? It's not about the six minutes. It's about what happens in the six minutes. Right. I always love that. So, you know, that's a great movie for uh, any high schooler or even college to watch. You know, I, I watched it before uh, the tournament myself. Actually, did you really? So, you know, I just. <laughs> It just gets you excited to go out on the mat, and you know, just like you know, you're talking with Pat, you know, shocking the world against an All-American. You know, that's yeah. basically what he did. He, he took on the best. That was the guy. Shoot, so you know, <laughs> it, it, it it shows that anybody can do it. So it was funny. I was at the uh, at the states this year, and, and I was talking to uh, Sean Lynch, who's now at the prep. He started out at Mainland, and uh, before before he was getting ready to take the mat, I was like, "Hey, did you watch Vision Quest last night?" He's like, "What are you talking about, Sully?" <laughs> like, come on, man! It's the best wrestling movie ever. Yeah, I used to um, actually carry around the, the movie Warrior. The, uh, oh, UFC that's one. yeah, that's that's a must yeah, see. They used to laugh whenever I would come in for boardwalk call. I used to carry it in my bag. It was like a <laughs> good luck. It's a joke from freshmen. It was like a good luck thing. And um, 
the Boardwalk Hall guys would laugh because some of them actually worked the movie because it was in Boardwalk Hall. Right, right. Some of the security guys just to stand around. Was, oh, really? I thought that was funny. That's awesome. Yeah, that's a great movie, too. So how's uh, how's college life up at Brown University? Uh, tr- re- real good, real good. Yeah, it's a battle, but it's good. <laughs> How do, how do you find time when you have so much uh, pressure on you academically as well as athletically? How do you how do you find some time to enjoy the college experience? Yeah, well, I, I know at least at Brown, one thing that helps a lot is you know there's a lot of people that are willing to help you, like like tutoring tutoring and stuff. I know I, I have a couple guy kids on on a team actually that are helping me out with that kind of stuff. So that lowers the burden a little bit. You know, it takes some of the pressure off knowing that. You got a guy that's a genius <laughs> in your dorm room, basically, because they're in my down the hall. So they help me out a lot, and that takes the burden off a little bit of some of the you know the class weight. And one thing we we do a lot, we you know we we work work together a lot, which um, when you study together, that 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 helps a lot for for me at least. I, I know when I have a group of people going, you know, after the same goal. Even if it's a tough class, uh, it helps a lot. We have a group that's going through the same issue, you know, same tough class to to get it done as a team. Now, do you, do you bring a little uh, little Jersey attitude, a little Jersey fun up there, and uh, to some of those stuffy Ivy Leaguers? Yeah, yeah <laughs> we, we uh, a little bit. <laughs> but uh, yeah, a lot of the, a lot of people at Brown are pretty cool. They're they're, they're pretty laid back, so yeah, we hang out with, with a lot of the athletes. So. <laughs> What what's it like just being an Ivy Leaguer? I mean, that's something you know not every kid thinks about when they're when they're coming up as, as a middle schooler, high schooler. And did you ever think you'd be in this position? Yeah, I mean, going into high school, I I had no thought at all, to be honest, to go go Ivy League. But you know, I was, once you know my junior year came around, and they actually initially came with like the football side. They were actually Ivy League schools were looking at me. I'm like, huh, I guess my grades must be. <laughs> good enough. I, mean, I always had the good GPA. I just wasn't sure of my test scores. And, you know, Coach Beckman over at Brown contacted me. And <clears throat> what helps a lot with the wrestling compared to, like, the football is the wrestling does, um, instead of doing, like, a like a strict, it's called the band system, where you're at a certain level and that's it. Like, you sit in that range and they can only take so many guys in that range. The wrestling does an average. So that helped me a lot. I know I was Kind of, I mean, I was in the middle, kind of, but our heavyweight's a genius. He got like a 2,400. <laughs> really? So on the SAT, so, you know, that helps a lot with the wrestling because they can average. So we can get some guys that are maybe a little borderline for the Ivy, but, you know, if we got a heavyweight or so anybody, <laughs> they are getting 36 on their ACT or 2,400 on their SAT, that brings everybody up so we can kind of like – I should. It's funny. Our coach told me take the test one more time. Maybe if you get a higher grade, we can help our average. So like you kind of turn into a team that once you know you're going there to help you <laughs> get your buddies in. <laughs> what's What's the toughest class you got up there? Uh, right now I'm 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 not the greatest. I have to take a couple of economics classes, and uh, I know last semester microeconomics beat me up, and uh, I got through it though, and uh, I'm taking a business statistics class right now and that, that that that's probably the toughest one right now talk with cj lafragola former saint joe hamilton stars now a sophomore at brown university uh before we let you go cj what, what's some advice you would give to uh you know guys and girls that are in high school now ath- athletes going through the process of trying to pick out a college what what would you like to know uh, at 16 years old that you know now yeah i mean when, when Definitely, uh, obviously, keep working hard. Always, you know, in the classroom and on on the field. And um, for picking a college, like for me with Brown, I, I had a lot of schools looking at me, and I, you know, I felt just the most comfortable at Brown. And you know, there were some schools that were closer to home. Maybe you know, they had a lot of factors that maybe I liked. But the one thing I say with picking a school is make sure you feel most comfortable with the people that you're going to be around for the next four years and your coaches and just make sure it's a, a strong background. I mean, I know at Brown, our our team went through a lot. At one point, Brown almost lost the program and then they got it back under Coach Beckerman, really started building it with our alumni. So it's, it's a very strong program right now. So that's one thing I would definitely consider in picking a school and a, and a sports team if it's a sports team 
and um, <clears throat> make sure you're just comfortable in, in the place you're going to be because that's where you're going to be for your next four years or, or more, you know, for some, for some kids. So if you're a high school athlete out there listening, sound advice from an Ivy Leaguer, so take that to heart. <laughs> CJ, man, we appreciate you taking a few minutes. Uh, enjoy your spring break and enjoy the rest of your time off and, and get back to work, man. Next season is going to be right. be here before you know it. Yes, sir. Thank you. All right, man. Have a good weekend, bud. Bye-bye. That was CJ Lafregola from St. Joe High School in Hamilton.